And better news for the A's. The A's announcing today that their slugger, Chris Davis, signing a two-year extension that will keep him in Oakland through the 2021 season. Terms will not have announced officially. Deal reportedly earns Davis $33.5 million over the next two seasons. Uh, I'd say this is a pretty good list. And guess what? Crush Davis is on the top. He's got the most homers, and it's actually by a lot since 2016. So when he went from Milwaukee to Oakland, it's been the best thing for him. Gets his two-year deal. Frank, what do you think about the deal for he and for Oakland? I think he left some meat on the bone. This guy's been money for the last three years. Led, led all of baseball and home runs off this year to 10 home runs already. I mean, I think I would have waited another five months to just see how the free agent market played out. I know it's only 15 teams buying for his services, but this man has become a force. And not, I mean, I know his average is around 247, but last year, 48 home runs and 123 RBIs. I really like this guy, but I do understand the comfort in Oakland. I played there is one of the best uh, environments ever in baseball. Billy Bean and, and, and Dave Forrest do a great job of, of making you comfortable and then you just play focus on playing baseball and nothing else matters. I think, you know, he's had such success there that, that it was probably appealing to him. That probably had a part of it. And what you're saying about playing there, you yes. know it well. But yeah, I mean, it's for, for that kind of production. Yes. You know, this is kind of, it's kind of a, a, a weird comparison in a way, but we just, we're kind of curious. So we wanted to look at Big Poppy, our Big Poppy. Mm -hmm. His final three seasons, now look, he was older. He was, what, eight years older than Chris Davis, uh, right. essentially, right? But the production is very, very similar. And you know what? He got about the same money that Chris Davis got today for the next two years. What do you think about this deal? Well, uh, it's it's uh, eye-raising a little bit when you think of the years of, of the deal. I think mm -hmm. two-year deal. But I think that the, the market's changing. And if you're over 30, I think the front offices are changing their thought processes of how long these guys can go and how long you want to have these contracts. For him, only two years. It's surprising to me because of how good he's been the last three years. Is it the same thing? You're, you're looking at, even at... Some of these opportunities in the offseason with the free agency, it has changed. The market's changing, and it's not good for over 30 players. I tell you, you know, and Bryce Harper is none of that, but I'm just thinking he got $330 million and this guy got 30 Well, yeah. I just, it's a good deal, especially in Oakland, it's a great deal. But for him, I just would look for the length because he's 31 years old. This could be the final contract. Yeah, that's why free agent is very attractive for it would have been very attractive for me if I was in this situation. It's amazing how the market has changed in mm -hmm. two months. I mean, yeah, everyone's getting ahead of the game and signing these guys for for team friendly deals. Yes. And look, it's great, right? He's got 33 million more dollars than he had. Yesterday. No doubt. But great place to play. I, I'm not shaking my head because I, I know the comfort zone he's in and he's continuing to, to play ball at a high level like this. You don't want to change teams. And you know what? The free agency, the free agent market this year is changing with all of these deals in season. Man, it's it, all of these players are just changing the market. And I think they're trying to look for that security and you can't blame them. No, I can't blame them at all. I'll tell you what, from the A's, I really love the fact that I got the guy with the most production in the last three years for $30 million. I'll tell you what, they're feeling pretty good about it themselves. We hear so much about the two big free agents who are still out there, guys, right? Dallas Keuchel and uh, Craig Kimbrell. And, you know, everyone could use them. Everyone would love to have them. But if you're looking at the Brewers specifically, Swing Dog, which one fits their profile more for you? Is it Keuchel, the starter, or is it Kimbrell, the lockdown reliever? You know what? I'm going to say Dallas Keuchel, and why? Because I, I think the starting rotation not only needs a left-hander, but I think they need stability, and they need some innings out of it. Last year, it worked out, and they kind of pieced it together going down the stretch. To me, Dallas Keuchel doesn't fear pitching in smaller ballparks or the ballparks that lit, let up the home runs, which Milwaukee does. And mm -hmm. I think Dallas Keuchel, even though he's 31 years old, will add some stability to that rotation. I think they could use both of these guys. But I say Dallas Keuchel, that starting rotation, needs an example. For me, it's Craig Kimbrell. He, he fits their mole, hard thrower, eliminator in the back of the bullpen. But bottom line, they're not gonna they're not gonna pony up and, and pay that kind of money with all the arms they have. Uh, but you never know because it's, I think he would be a finishing piece for this Brewer ball club because this team is for real. The chemistry is great. Uh, seems like one team that gives them fists is the Dodgers, and that's the team they might have to face at the end once again. It's going to be fascinating if, if any of them go, because, you know, you just talk about your, you know, obviously we know the bullpen, but their bullpen arms are now in the starting rotation, yeah. right? I mean, you know, with Woodruff, who's been up and down, Burns has had a rough go, and now Peralta's hurt. So how do they manage those young guys and those young arms? How does that play out going forward? It's going to be really interesting to see with the Brewers and what they do. But the Dodgers strike first with the win here tonight.